In a world where dreams meet reality, there exists a place where your business can flourish. That place is Shopify. Imagine having the power to craft your online store with tools that make it as easy as a gentle breeze. Whether you're an artisan of handmade wonders, a creator of digital treasures, or a curator of the latest trends, Shopify stands by your side. With its customizable templates, seamless integrations, and support that's always there, your dream store is just a heartbeat away. Join millions of visionaries around the globe and let Shopify guide you on your journey. Visit roguemedianetwork.com slash Shopify. That's roguemedianetwork.com slash S-H-O-P-I-F-Y. And embark on your free trial. Shopify, where your commerce dreams come to life. Most bankers aren't ready to help you until after their third cup of coffee. But with Central National Bank's after-hours service, you don't have to wait for the bank lobby to open to get help. You can contact us from 6 to 8.30 in the morning or from 5 to 10 in the evening, and we'll connect you to a real, live, local person who can answer questions and fix problems seven days a week. Bank different. Bank central. Central National Bank. Member FDIC. Welcome back to What's Up Waco, the podcast that loves to introduce you to the people, the places, and the properties that make Waco an excellent community to live. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to What's Up Waco, the podcast that loves Waco and loves introducing you to the little things you may not know about our fun town. Today, I am so happy to announce that the owners of Uptown Peach... I am so happy to announce that the owners of Uptown Peach, Stephanie and Justin Ingram, are here to talk to us about their little piece of Waco. Welcome. Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. We're excited to be here. I'm glad. So uh, I got a little sneak peek of Uptown Peach yesterday, live and in person. If you've checked them out on Instagram, then you know how cute it is. It's adorable. And can I just say... Walking through it is even cuter. Like even where you have people park is clean Mm. and inviting. We're so glad. We want everybody to feel the joy just as they pull up, as they walk in, and then just be able to come and experience all the relaxation and cleanliness that you deserve when you go away on a vacation. Y'all, mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. How do you feel about it? Are you involved in like the day-to-day no, I'm the weed puller. I'm not- <laughs> that's my job. Well, good I, job. It's pretty out there. Yes, I, I'm the <laughs> one that's mostly responsible for making sure that there's no weeds anywhere in any of the flower beds. It's important. And I pull tree limbs out of the trees and fix the lights. and Gutter cleaner. I'm a good gutter cleaner as well, yep. Good job. Yeah. Got Those a sturdy are my ladder. jobs. Yeah. <laughs> Those are my jobs. Check. Check. <laughs> that sounds fair. <laughs> He's a exactly. maintenance man. And then you bring in all the pretty. I love to bring the pretty, but don't kid yourself. Justin's very involved in the creative side as well. He likes to have a say and is actually very inclined towards um, interior design. Oh, look at you, Mr. (laughs) Humble. That's very kind. (laughs) It's true. A lot of the colors of the peach were picked by Justin. Really? Well, yes. when we were started the design process, I was like, why not do something different? Yeah. You know, and, and if we're going to do something different, let's do something really different. Not just, you know, I don't know, um, just the regular white and black and gray. I mean, I, I, I want to stay somewhere that's cool. And I think that's what the peach is. So it was good. Yeah. Agree. And it comes across so well. Like I think we were talking the other, the other yesterday, the other day, and it's very Instagrammable. Like the photos yeah. of it are beautiful, eye catching. You do want to go look at it in person. Yeah, we want it to appeal to everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, Instagrammers, but I mean, women and men of all ages. I mean, I have a house full of of men at my house, (laughs) uh, two boys and my husband. So I'm always very aware of not being offensively over feminine in a design. So that was a little bit tricky, but um, we've had really good response from our male visitors. Yeah. um, As well as our females. That's what we want. No doubt. It feels like you've hit... It's almost like you can tell it's a marriage that put this together because Mm -hmm. it's like very complimentary 
and the compromise can be seen. Like, sure, you have the one lighting fixture and it's flowers, but you, you got to get like right up on it to get that feminine vibe. Yeah. And all the colors, I mean, everybody likes color. And we've yeah. been in such a, trust me, as a real estate agent, I'm so tired of white and black and gray. Like, no offense, y'all. But yeah. for me, that's what we see day in and day out. Mm -hmm. And so um, a splash of color, ah. Oh, yeah. I think it's refreshing for everybody. Yeah, it just it automatically implies fun mm -hmm. and joy and yes. yeah, come on in and have a good time. Mm -hmm. Well, but it's just yeah. different. You know, it's mm -hmm. not the typical farmhouse, you know, bat and all the things that are just typical, which is great. And I love, we all love the, the looks of those. And things. our own oh, house yeah. is pretty neutral. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> our own <laughs> house is really neutral, There's actually. One thing <laughs> that you'll learn about Stephanie and I if you get to know us is we're very, very boring. No. Most of the time we are. Yeah, yeah. we kind of are. Yeah, we kind of are. a little crazy sometimes, <laughs> but most of the time we push it down. <laughs> <laughs> They're cute. I kind of wish this one was a video recording because y'all are just so cute with each other. Um, but I think that I think that was very smart. So we talked about just the layout is very business savvy, the colors bringing people in. So this isn't your typical Airbnb where it's one house per family. This is four units available, mm -hmm. right? Right. So how did that kind of, I know how finding the duplexes came about, but that's yeah. a big chunk to chew. Like not to just think let's run an Airbnb, but oh, hey, let's just do it times four. Yeah. <laughs> it was a like, wow. evolution of the business model. I mean, mm -hmm. we just looked at what would it equal in the end if we remodel in long-term rent versus if we create more of a, a tiny hotel with the Airbnb system and the numbers just were drastically different and we thought let's try it let's just go for it and create something different and unique mm -hmm. um, and we also knew that doing that we had to create like a an outside courtyard experience and that was a huge part of the business plan and the model of creating the peach mm -hmm. it didn't exist before uh, but we wanted it to be a, a great place for people to gather, which is what it has evolved to. We have families coming for reunions or yeah. old classmates coming for reunions. And that's just our favorite part. Well, people and it, the, the, the layout of the duplexes lent itself to that mm -hmm. because we, we bought the duplexes not knowing really what we wanted to do with it, just knowing that it was right next door to our house. We want to control the environment there and the, the layout of the duplex you is should just... probably delete that. I was just going to say, do you want us to take that yeah. out? Yeah, we don't want to say that. Okay. We don't want to say we're going to control the environment. Oh, yeah, that's probably bad. Anyway. Okay. Go ahead. No, but go ahead and, you know, that okay, was part so, of it. Yeah, take that part out, I guess. <laughs> anyway, um, but the, the, the layout of the duplexes is such that they're right next to one another with a, with a space in the middle. All the doors open to the interior mm -hmm. of the, 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 the space. So it lent itself to an area of gathering. Um, and um, that's just the, the, the route that we went is, is you can individually rent the, the units out. But it's really great if you have all four so that you can control everything there. You have the outdoor space, the fire pits, the, mm -hmm. the swings, all the things, and it's just your your folks. Yeah, the swings, they're so cute. They're yeah. so fun. It's, and it's not like, since this is, you know, audio, it's not swings like getting on a swing set and trying to go as high as you can and tip it over. They're like chair swings, individual, Circles. comfortable, relaxing, that farmhouse feel, but with a cool vibe. Like, it's a little edgier. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's Beautiful. fun and it does like being there, walking around through it live. That is the thing that caught me. I was like, oh my gosh, Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. like having family stay here and yeah. be able to hang out and then host them at the house for dinner. But also they have their place. Exactly. You know, yeah, it's exactly how family we dynamics are fun. Yeah. But it's nice when everybody can go back to their individual spot and really just yes. relax Nap and time. enjoy the visit. Nap time. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's been really sweet. That we were the first ones that used it for our family reunion, and it was perfect because everybody could come and go and mm -hmm. relax. And um, and now we rent it out mostly about once a month or more for just the same the same thing. No, it's awesome. It's awesome. Fun. And what a good idea. And what a great location. We yeah. I mean, five years ago, uptown Waco, not really a thing. Right. But now it is, and Austin Ave and Washington are just spilling down that way. And now Washington's going, 
both directions for y'all. That's got to be love it. helpful. Yeah. And the bike path comes. Yeah. It will come all the way down. I think they're going to work on it next year, but okay, it's phenomenal. I mean, we can ride right down to the farmer's market or. Oh, it's so easy Union to get Hall. to everything in, it really in is. downtown Waco. It's, yeah. it's, it's just a short drive away. Or a walk. And, I've, and being yeah. on Washington is almost even, um, I don't want to say better because everybody loves Austin Ave. So if you're not yeah. from the area, Austin Ave is like our main street with all the busyness that you would expect a small town main mm-hmm. street to have. But then Washington is just, just a scotch just over right and just right behind it. So you're, you're it's like the cooler brother. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it works out. And now all the businesses are also starting to go toward uptown and there, you know, mm-hmm. you've got fun stuff out that way, yeah, which absolutely. is super helpful. And it's such a family of businesses. Everybody mm-hmm. supports everybody and, uh, we just have loved getting into that community of other local business owners. It's funny you say that because that is, as I'm interviewing business owners in and around Waco, that is like a recurring theme that all of us have mm-hmm. experienced. Just this overall welcoming environment from other business owners when you might expect maybe like underlying animosity or mm-hmm. competition or blah. No, everybody's got this mindset yeah. of abundance and, and resourcefulness and yeah this willingness to help that you don't typically find in the business world. Yeah. Um, so you've, you've felt that too. Yeah. It's really that way with, with the specifically with the Airbnb markets, we have, we have people that have called us that, that, that see the place and, and like it and want some advice. And as I know we're in competition, well, not really. Right. You know I mean? It, it, so. it, we, we, we have a, um, a place that we love and that we hope people love, but we certainly want to help anyone that we can because, it, it helps everyone, you know, mm-hmm. so there's no, there's no competition. It's just, Hey, I mean, we, we're still trying to figure this out too, you know, so we can learn Fair. a lot from you. You, you, you can learn a lot from us and we can, we can both benefit from it. So yeah, it's, it's really cool. I love that because you can all better each other. Like mm-hmm. one bad Airbnb review, regardless of who it's for yeah. kind of knocks you all down. Right. I mean, it could have people kind of second guessing, mm. yeah. even though, you know, yeah, or they have a bad Airbnb experience and, and they don't want to try it again. Mm-hmm. They're yeah. like, never mind. I know what to get at a hotel. Yes. I'll just yeah. go to yeah. a hotel. It's never as cool as a hotel. It's never. And it's never oh. as personal. Yeah. yeah. And you know what you can't see on um, at Uptown Peach on Instagram? Yeah. You can't um, smell how clean it is. <laughs> oh, that's such a weird way to say. I don't know how else to tell you this, people, but the pictures are beautiful, but it smells good when you walk mm. inside and it is so clean. That was such a, oh gosh, it was so intentional on our part. Like it, we really wanted it Priority above number all one. Mm-hmm. to be clean. The floors are light and bright. The beds are higher so you can see all the way under them. Um, we thoroughly clean after every guest. It's just a non-negotiable for us because um, when we travel, we want something very clean and um, a lot of times people will comment or when we've traveled and we've stayed places and they're not that clean, you just don't feel fully able to relax or right. enjoy this space. Um, so that was priority number one for us, um, was the cleanliness and that it stayed. And we consistently, our guest love, it, it's constantly, it's so clean. It's mm-hmm. so clean. Thank you, you always for hear that. that. <laughs> yeah. And it's what we want. Well, uh, you, we know that people are spending a, you know, they're, they're spending their own money to travel and to stay at a place and they chose us, mm-hmm. you know, so we, yeah. we take that personally and we want them to, to make sure that they have the experience that we would want if we, if we went to an Airbnb somewhere else, you know, yeah. we, we want to have a certain experience and when we don't, I mean, it's not bad, but it's, man, I wish it would, I wish it were this. And we, we want them to have the experience that we would want. Which is excellent. It's a great way to approach it too, right? Yeah. How do how would we want this to look? What would mm-hmm. we want to experience? And then you share that and you've created that. Yeah. And then also you added all those fun colors. So it's like <laughs> win-win everywhere. It, it gives people like permission to relax in a way because, yeah. you know, that tense, like my shoulders are tense just thinking about when you walk into like a dirty mm-hmm. room and you're just like, oh, the chaos that you feel in your head. But mm. when it's clean and the lines are clean and it's, it's minimal, yeah. like your furnishings aren't overwhelming. There's enough for people to be comfortable, but you're not like crowded into the space. Mm-hmm. It's very relaxed. Mm-hmm. And then you add that layer of color and now it's fun. So yeah. you're relaxed. It's fun. It's something you don't get in your own home. 
Yeah. Right? Because yeah. home. <laughs> it's a different level of comfort. Yes. <laughs> yes. But it, but you've created a, an environment for people to just come enjoy Waco. Like what a great jumping off point. Oh, well, thank you. I'm yeah. so glad you got to come and experience <laughs> Me too. it. Thank you. I totally invited yeah. myself for anybody that's listening. Just totally invited myself. But it was, it was such so a joy. Fun. We're always happy fun. to share. People ask and if we don't have somebody there, I'm always like, yes, come over. I'll show you. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Not everybody. but <laughs> You should take that we'll, out. We'll, we'll probably take that out. People are, people are welcome. Yeah, only everybody's only. welcome. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> take my phone over off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> it might just be me, me and Justin from now on. No, I'm just kidding. Um, since we are kind of editing this out, is there anything that I'm missing that you guys want to be sure to include? I can't think, think so. of anything. Can you? No, I mean, I mean, we need to talk about people coming. Like, we want people to Return. come back, but that's that can be part of just as we go along. Mm-hmm. But no, it's okay. good. Yeah, it's fun, right? Yeah, it's it's, okay. it's not bad. See, well, not bad. I'll take that as a top <laughs> compliment because I know you're yes. excited to be. Here. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll get back to it. Okay, so and I think, um, you know, for me, the biggest compliment is always somebody, um. Either calling and asking a question from an education standpoint or sending me a friend. Do you find that for the peach people are referring a bunch of people or returning because they loved it so much? It's our favorite. I don't know if there's a better compliment than when somebody experiences it Mm -hmm. and then they go back and refer a friend or a family member or then they turn around and book the whole place for their own reunion. Um, It's our favorite and we love we have families now that have come one time and they've returned three or four times now. And it's our favorite. We go out of our way and um, do extra things for those, you know, our repeat guests that come yeah. back. Um, because they are, some of them we've never met, so, but but they're special to us because they continue to come back. And well, it's just affirmation that, that what you're doing is good. Yeah. You know, and that you that you give someone a good experience, you mm-hmm. know, and in the Waco area, there's a lot of return visitors, either Baylor parents or people that just love to come to the silos and they or come driving back, through town or they're just yeah. driving through town. And, and it's really cool when you make an impact on someone such that they want to come back, mm-hmm. you know, and which is great. Yeah. I mean, that is the ultimate compliment. That yeah. somebody wants to come back, right? Yeah. And and you provide snacks. Yeah. <laughs> snacks. I love food. That's my favorite. We always like to, um, we would much rather have a standard of excellence and go above and beyond than to, for somebody to be disappointed because there wasn't Mm -hmm. something. So that was a little bit of a trick for us to find the happy medium of what can we afford to do and and to stock in the suites. Uh, But we do, we provide two different coffees. Mm -hmm. Well, lots of coffee actually, (laughs) because we're addicted and we just assume everybody (laughs) needs coffee, but... Uh, Coffee, yeah. cheese, drinks, snacks, a bottle of wine. Literally, we woke up at our yeah. co- at our hotel in Colorado um, this past weekend, and the first thing I said to my husband was like, "Go, please go find. There's a Starbucks. It's point point four miles away. I need coffee yes. because in the hotels, you're like, if I use this, are you gonna charge me twenty dollars for this oh. K cup? Like, no. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't really trust this. But at yours. It's totally, Everything you're like, this is, is for you. Enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. Everything's included. Yeah. That's we, fun. Who can live without coffee? I don't, well, I, it needs to be good coffee too. I mean, yeah. you can, you can, I right? mean, you can give a jar of Folgers that's five years <laughs> old and dried out and, and have, you Which know. Which we have had at an Airbnb before. We're like, oh no. Oh no. Yeah, you don't provide it. If it's going <laughs> to be that, just say, no, it's we don't have bar. coffee. Yeah. We'll skip it. It's, it's got to be good coffee. Now, yeah. here are the local. You can go to Pinewood down yes, the street. Yes, we have. Absolutely. Yeah. If you can't get to the coffee shop fast enough, make a cup here right. as you're walking. I understand that, too. Yeah, for sure. Um, so each unit, I know the layout is the same. Yes. So, and when you showed me, walked me through them, there's laundry. Mm-hmm. So there's laundry in every unit? Every unit. We provide detergent. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so I love that. wash and dry your clothes. Only you know, pack light if you want. <laughs> you wear your outfits. Yeah, that's helpful, <laughs> especially when you have to pay for you know every yes. piece of luggage anymore. Yes. It's very nice to just bring a couple yes. things. Bring It'll a be fine. Things. Yeah, it's been well. That's one of the the best parts about traveling too. We always look for a place that has laundry, mm-hmm. um, and then we forget our laundry detergent. 
So we we keep laundry detergent, uh, hypoallergenic, nice. in all of the units. So nice. yeah, smart. But it's those those details and the things that you think about and pay attention to that makes makes it stand out. Yeah. And we're always listening. Our our guests, we ask them if you have anything that we could do better or change, please let us know. And they are so they have given us so many good ideas. As a matter of fact, we're going to this afternoon hang more coat hooks. Oh. Because one of the guests said there weren't enough. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're that's like, interesting. We will fix that. Yeah. Huh. I Thanks love that response. It's like, yeah. got it on it. We didn't know. Yeah. I think that's one one of the things also that, that was, I don't know if it was a surprise, but it was it was a good surprise that the, I mean, we've had, we've been open now almost for a year and we've mm-hmm. had a lot of guests come and go and they've been awesome. I mean, just amazing people that 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 are are very respectful of the of our place and um, very they just it's just really cool to 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 be able to help someone when they're here in Waco, but they're mm-hmm. so respectful of everything that we do and and are are helpful because we ask for yeah. for for um, you know feedback and they give really good feedback of That's different nice. things that you're like I never thought yeah. about that or that makes sense or um, you know and most of them we've 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 taken to heart and we've changed. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. I mean, fresh eyes are always helpful, right? I mean, you guys look at it. We always want to be better. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. Always want to keep being better. Mm -hmm. And that might've, was that a fear when you started out? Like how are people going to treat the space? Were you, was that a concern? Yeah, Yeah. absolutely. You put your heart and soul and a lot of finances behind an adventure like that. And then you invite people in. Yeah, yeah, and it is, but it's exciting, and it's been really, really. Um, it's grown us both as a, as a couple and as a business to, you know, meet people and hear people and learn. We've learned so much. Gosh, we didn't know so much. <laughs> <laughs> We've learned so much. For the record, we still don't know very much. <laughs> We're still learning. Aren't we all? We're all learning Absolutely. every day. Um, in the the hospitality industry, which is where you are, where you've landed is, uh, constantly evolving. Yeah. Especially, especially you know, in Waco. pre and post pandemic, especially in Waco as things change yeah. and grow. Um, there's a lot of good stuff happening here yeah. and, and you guys really get to be like front seat. Yeah. But and we're also so open to how is it going to change and just letting it evolve into, to whatever God's design for it is. I mean, we just every day wake up and we adjust where we need to, and then we mm-hmm. just keep going and hope that it still continues to be an excellent place for people to visit. Well, so far, so good. Yeah. And you're getting great feedback. It's a fun place. It smells good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's just really, it's very comfortable. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah. Place of respite. So you're coming up on, on, coming up one on one year, year? mid-September. Oh, that's exciting. Are you guys yeah, going to do anything fun birthday. or have you thought about any plans? Or are you just going to take a minute to be just the two of you and just be like, look at what we built. We're definitely going <laughs> to celebrate. Yay. Okay, good. Yeah, no, we definitely, we're always, well, me, I'm always looking for a reason <laughs> to celebrate something and that's right? big, that's huge. So no, we'll definitely celebrate. I'm not sure. We haven't made. Gosh, we haven't even thought about that. Oh, uh, it's knocking it's along now. I'm thinking, what are we gonna do? No. Oh, now I'm excited. You're gonna have to let me know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, he's like, oh man, party. Now we got to plan a party, Mr. Introvert. Yeah, <laughs> yeah not, not my thing. Oh no. no, that's not true. He's a he's a sport at a party. You could have fun. He always actor. plays hard to get. But I'll what a good. Part. But what a good reason. Well, something yes. fun to celebrate the thing that yes. you guys have built yeah. and it's just taken on a life of its own. Mm-hmm. Right. It really has. That's very good. It Word has. of mouth is a wonderful thing. We love it. And you're we giving people it. lots of good stuff to talk about. I hope oh. so. <laughs> yes. I and you're so, so kind and positive. I love this. Like no wonder that people, I think you, you, you put out what you're going to get back and yeah. like, I mean, you put out this energy that's, I'm not at all surprised that the people that come through are as, warm and, and welcoming and they and, really are the best people who come through Waco or the wherever they're coming from have mm-hmm. just been the sweetest and kindest and oh yeah so neat and we don't meet most of them it's usually just an exchange on the on the interface but um it, it's just been such a great experience it's really neat and you yeah. get people from all over all around the world oh, yeah, yeah. 
Who? Okay. Okay. Last, last question before we wrap it up. What is the furthest a visitor mm-hmm. has traveled to stay at the peach? Denmark. I, I was going to say Ireland. Maybe it was I Denmark. I think it's Denmark. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we had a, we had a, yeah. um, I think it was a couple from Denmark. Uh-huh. A lot of times people are coming through mm-hmm. via business to Austin or Dallas. And I think that was the. I think it was, yeah, I think it was yeah. a trip from Austin to Dallas, kind of a stopover. Yeah. Yeah, but we've had we've had people from Washington State, from California, Alaska. from Alaska. Mm. How fun. Really, really all over. It's really Isn't cool. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. It's, cool. it's really cool. It's, it's really weird. interesting that people come that far to Waco. <laughs> right. Yeah. But I mean, they I do, love though. it. Of course they would. There's well, so much to do here. And oh, the yeah. really cool thing for us is is um, because of the outdoor area, you know, especially when the weather's nice, mm-hmm. um, some of our guests will be outside and we may walk over to check something and and, you know, not to invade their privacy, but we just strike up a conversation. Sometimes we really get to know the, 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 the it's really, really cool to talk to people and just hear their story, where they come from, what they do back home, yeah. why they're in Waco. And it's just, it's just yeah. been a blessing for us too. How fun. And probably something mm-hmm. you weren't expecting. Yeah. Like what a cool sure. blessing no. to come out of it. No. Right. We didn't know we'd be in hospitality a year ago. <laughs> no. <laughs> We did not. <laughs> right. Hey, guess what? Yeah. And here we are. And here we are. Here you are. <laughs> and what if turned into something wonderful? Oh, Uptown man. Peach is a peach. It is Aww. a treasure and a little gem up here in Waco. If you are in the area, it's an excellent place to stay. Highly recommend. Not only is it clean and cute and smells good, uh, it's just also an excellent location. Um, so thank you so much for being here today. If anybody wanted to find out more information about the peach, mm-hmm. how to reserve, um, just check it out online. Where's the best place to find y'all? You can Google it. Uptown okay. Peach Waco. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have a Google page with a link to all the listings Perfect. or Instagram. You can see all the pictures of the, um, from the beginning to now. Very good. Yeah. Well, very cool. Thank Come you so much for being here Thank today. You. I really appreciate your time. So sweet to be here. Yay. Fun times. All right. What's up Waco. That's what we've got to say today. Go visit Uptown Peach if you can. Can't miss it. It's over on Washington. Super cute. Super worth it. We'll talk to y'all soon. Peach out. (laughs) Do you have a topic you want to talk about? Do you have questions about Waco, the real estate market, how to sell your house, what to look for when you're buying a home? Send me an email, ericaselstexas at gmail.com. Shoot me a text, 254-447-0180. Happy to chat about it. Find me anywhere you listen to your podcasts or at roguemedianetwork.com. In a world where dreams meet reality, there exists a place where your business can flourish. That place is Shopify. Imagine having the power to craft your online store with tools that make it as easy as a gentle breeze. Whether you're an artisan of handmade wonders, a creator of digital treasures, or a curator of the latest trends, Shopify stands by your side. With its customizable templates, seamless integrations, and support that's always there, your dream store is just a heartbeat away. Join millions of visionaries around the globe and let Shopify guide you on your journey. Visit roguemedianetwork.com slash Shopify. That's roguemedianetwork.com slash S-H-O-P-I-F-Y. And embark on your free trial. Shopify, where your commerce dreams come to life.